Hey guys, this is Ashwini and welcome back to another video of AWS. Till now we have completed two videos. If you haven't watched all those videos, I have created this playlist for you. Just go through this playlist. I will attach the link in description. Okay. Now come back to our today's topic. That is in this video, the agenda of this video is we will be completing what is cloud computing, data centers and cloud. And most important thing that is life cycle of cloud. Okay. After this, we will be moving to the type of services that cloud is provided. So why I'm completing all these basics? Because moving to the some domain of like uh, AWS of networking or computing, any domain, these all are necessary. If you doesn't have the knowledge of these basic components, what we are talking about, okay, then uh, we are in not a good shape to understand all those terminology we will be completing in all those domain. Okay, so the first thing first, like what is computing, right? Cloud computing. So it is just like on demand service. Okay, if you requesting something to the cloud, okay, I need a server, I need a machine, I need uh, anything those they are providing. So on the just in a one minute or two minute by filling the form of AWS console, you will get all those services. Okay. So why I'm not explaining this, why I write all this like one line definition, because I have already created a video for you. This is a video. What is cloud computing? Just go to my channel and you will find this uh, video. What is cloud computing already published there? Okay, just go and go through this video. You will find complete detail about cloud computing. Okay, so now what is the next question is like, what is the difference between data center and cloud? Yeah, Shuni, you told what is a cloud computing. In this video, you will find a complete information about cloud computing and hypervisor and virtualization. Okay. And after that, you will watch this video. Now, what is a data center and cloud? So let me give you the basic idea of what is a data center and cloud is. Okay. So I want to consider a real time example. I don't want to consider any bookish language or anything like, okay. So right now all the companies are moving to the cloud just like if you take an example of paytm or any other company okay why they are hiring a lot of peoples because they are migrating their servers their data to aws why they are migrating their from data center to aws what they are doing let me write it here data center to aws why they are doing this first of all as compared to data center, this is very cheap. Okay, because they doesn't have to pay that much amount. Why I'm saying this is cheap. This is a one only. This is not a only one concept or one point. There are a lot of factor. That's why we are moving to the data center. With the understanding of this difference of data center and cloud, you will be very clear like why all companies are moving. Okay, let's suppose this is you. Okay, and you want to say okay this is your data center like suppose these are the data center okay and you go to data center just like alibaba alibaba has a data center okay yeah and you go to alibaba and say i need a computer so there doesn't like in aws we have a functionality right like to select a particular system with a particular configuration like for aws like if i go to in aws and say i need a system with 1 gb ram and this server and operating system like either i want aws or like either i want linux or in or windows i can do that but in data center this much flexibility is not there they say okay bro i have this system okay and what this configuration is this is a 4 gb ram okay and one tv hard disk like this they will do and they will say if you want to take this one take either i don't have any other system and what they will say okay if you are taking this you need to sign up for some month okay or year because they say if you take it for a one month why should i hold my system to you why should i give my system to you so you need to sign a contract for year or month okay and they say i do not have this particular amount of the particular configuration which you are asking i have my configuration i have this system do you want to take it that whole system or not and you have to pay for that whole system and now aws came in a picture 
like suppose you have a requirement of only one system with one uh, like uh, I say 500 MB hard disk and just an example and 2 GB RAM and you want a Linux okay just go to AWS console and fill all these information AWS give you the system and you don't need to be pay if you don't want to use this just destroy the instance and if you don't want to use any other services just destroy or release them okay and it will be AWS will not charge for those services okay those you wanna release but this terminology not work with the data center once they assign a system to you you have to charge for that okay because anything is not available as the services which AWS is provided not available in a data center now i hope this is a clear right now we are going to the life cycle of aws okay this is very important thing life cycle i am saying this is because with the help of this you will be understanding lot more technologies and lot more component about aws so i want to be explained with the some examples okay let's suppose this is me this person name a he developed one website okay this is on a website and now he want to make sure this website will be available to the internet i mean just like in he make an e-commerce website just like in flipkart and he want all the people can come across its website and access that so what he want to do then he go to the aws and say i want one system I want one system with these configuration operating system server RAM hard disk and network security all these things all the basic things okay and AWS say okay pause this is on a console just fill all the details here whatever you need for your hosting your website and I will give you back now till here this is clear right yeah now let's suppose this person find out anyhow like after hosting the service after hosting this application to the AWS now this A find out the traffic how like he says hey AWS till 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. I have a very huge traffic and my site goes down it is not responding between these working hours okay and after that it start responding so AWS say okay yeah might be possible because you have a heavy traffic and you are just asking for like 1 TB RAM okay and 2 GB RAM so that's why it's not working okay so it's okay do one thing between these hours what i want just what you need to do scale up my my system so okay aws will say okay you have asked this to aws between 10 am to 3 am sorry i'm saying 10 am pm okay between 10 am to 3 pm i want to scale up so this is a scale up so what it will do okay boss you need a RAM right because your services like your application is down it is not able to respond so what it will do I will make it 8 GB is it fine for you you will say okay so this is called scale up one thing is clear right second thing you want after 3 p.m. just what you need to do I do not want to pay obviously AWS will scale up and make it 8 GB then you have to pay the charges for 8 GB right but how you are you how you can uh, manage this and how you can uh, manage your wallet you don't want to pay an extra thing you only wanted to pay between 10 a.m. to 3 a 3 p.m. right so you need to say to AWS I don't want to pay for this thing just after 3 p.m. just roll back whatever you are doing whatever you have done just roll back that I don't want to be all those changes after 3 p.m. so what you need to do just roll back this thing is called this is scale up scale down so this is called scale down 
now let's suppose you build a flipkart application that is e-commerce application right now we have a sale on flipkart big million sale or you have developed an ad like uh, application just like an amazon there you have diwali sale and you know that we all know that in these kind of sales we have huge traffic on website right so one system is not enough obviously we need our multiple containers containers instance that all things are related to like deployment and spring boot we're not talking about anything i don't want to confuse you actually okay so just make this thing in mind we need a lot of systems to respond back to the client request okay the people requesting me again and again for something right so product or something so i need a i need a multiple system okay because i want to be hold my application i want to host my application there so that server can respond to that request understood yeah so what it will do it say okay that traffic also coming in 3 or like 10 am to 3 pm obviously people are woke up at 10 and uh, doing all these things right so what now aws will do okay boss i will do one thing this is your one system i will attach two more system three more system four more system now is it okay for you you say okay it's okay for me so this thing is called scale out okay this thing is called scale out and you say okay whatever you have done after 3 pm discard it i don't want that so this thing is called scale in and now you ask to the aws okay that after the mm, 10 pm all guys go to bed or i don't want this whole system to running more so what you will say okay after 10 pm close this system i don't want it running because no one is wake up at night right i'm just taking an example so why i want to be i know you will wake up till 3 4 you are watching web series okay <laughs> i know that but i'm taking an example like after 10 pm i do not want my system to run so it say okay stop so you will say aws so after this time stop my services and you say before 10 am or you want like 6 am start my services okay and two more things are here like provisioning and deprovisioning okay provisioning when you are fill up the form in aws console and submit to the aws that will give you the system that is called provisioning okay and when, when you say to aws okay destroy this system terminate this then that is called deprovisioning okay so this is all about the life cycle uh, you say Ashwini, you have tell this i understand this do we have something in documentation form okay <laughs> yeah we have that come to here say go to the aws documentation okay you found it here scale out the following scale of manually increasing the size of group okay for more information basically this is a life cycle of ec2 so you do not need to worry about ec2 or whatever okay this is a life cycle of aws cloud providers and aws cloud okay so i giving the space to refer you all these technology terminology okay because i want you to learn this terminology so that's why do not consider about anything easy to and all just learn whatever the terminology we have discussed in this video okay that is scale out and that is uh, instance in survey sorry scale in so all things you will found it here or you want to be search for or some more all things like some more things just about like uh, scale down or some more just go to this documentation okay and go to all these compute whatever services you want to check you will find all the details there okay and i will see you in next video okay with the some other topic of aws okay we will completing this series no doubt okay yeah till now if you have any question please comment it down if you are not asking me any question then might be you are confusing in somewhere so ask me any type of question whatever you want okay till then i will see you in the next video bye bye and do not forget to subscribe okay <laughs>